him. Okay. Let's get this call. Good evening. Welcome to Community Crossfire. You're on the air. Hello, caller. Are you still there? Okay, Darius. And, you know, for I, I just want to add on as the next caller comes in, for those that would like to reach me, I'm always accessible. Again, the website is abetterwilmington.com. Uh, my Twitter is at Darius J. Brown. Okay. My phone number is 302-858-2333. And I'll give those again. Website is abetterwilmington.com. Twitter is at Darius J. Brown. And my cell phone number is 302-858-2333. Please contact me at any time. I got newfound respect for Norman. He masters this phone. Okay. I'm still learning. <laughs> good evening. Welcome to Community Crossfire. You're on the line. Uh, good afternoon. Oh, good evening. This is Bernice Thomas. Hello. And I'm listening to Mr. Brown, and I really um, like some of the things that he's saying because these are things, the experience that he's discussed, the people are going to need to know. But I think, and talking with many of the parents that I deal with, rather than just saying that he's representing or wishing to represent District 3, if he would identify streets that that district encompassed, it's going to help the people that may be able to vote for him better than saying District 3. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, and thank you for that call, Ms. Bernice, because that's very important. Um, and for the viewing audience, the 3rd City Council District begins on, the, um, on 9th Street. And it follows Walnut Street over Brandywine Bridge and connects to Market Street down to 26th Street. And so from 9th Street to 26th Street going towards the river. Uh, the, at the, the, the piece that is, not, is a little disconjointed to the 3rd District is the 7th Street Peninsula which is also a part of the third district. So you have the 7th Street Peninsula, and then you have half of the east side from 9th Street going, going, um, going north, to north to northeast, and then um, to 26th Street, and then you have Walnut to Market to the river, which is another half of the northeast um, area of the city of Wilmington, which is again what I was talking about when you talk about neighborhoods and community. Okay. Good evening, welcome to Community Crossfire. Uh, peace and grace to you, Brother Mike. This hey. is Pastor D. Grace and peace, Pastor D. Thanks for calling. Good to see you, man. Stop wearing my hats on TV. People going to get us mixed up. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, uh, Darius, thank you so much for uh, being present on tonight. Not uh, a problem, sir. I want to pose a question to you uh, uh, that I believe is relevant. Uh, as part of an elected collective, um, how we have journeyed as a people to where we are is, I believe, the result of one reality which is a cliché anymore. It is simply speak truth to power. I would have you to address how you intend to speak truth to power, that is to say, to speak up and speak out when instances of injustice, um, which I would consider the recent debacle concerning my own candidacy, and other class and caste kinds of situations, um, it certainly is a time in which every elected official must, as a part of the collective, speak truth the power. Uh, for Dr. King said, and I will hang up and listen, but Dr. King said to us, um, um, when the so-called good people refuse to speak, uh, they are just as bad as the so-called bad people. Uh, how do you intend to speak truth to power, and on what kinds of issues uh, would you speak up and speak out on? Thank you. I will listen. Thanks, Pastor Dean. Well, thank you. Um, and that allows me to get to the other, the other three R's, um, which the f initial one, or the, fir the first, well, the th second one is retool. Um, the third is to revitalize, and then the last is to redevelop. So I want to uh, focus on retooling because that's really where a lot of the issues that I'll be speaking up are about, and that's around jobs and education. Uh, for me, I believe that the pathways out of poverty are through jobs and education within the city of Wilmington, but particularly the third district, 
in the east side and northeast area of the city. Um, there is a lack of opportunity around supporting people and providing those employable opportunities around jobs. And so what I've done for the last two months on my show at Better Wilmington is to bring in different organizations within the city that provide job training opportunities, employable opportunities here in the city of Wilmington. The second part is education. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with numbers. If you go to the website of betterwilmington.com, all the numbers are on the website but around education because there could be no education debate in the city of Wilmington without including the third district. The third district encompasses Howard High School, Stubbs Elementary School, Prestige Academy, Eastside Charter School, Thomas Edison Charter School, Moyer Academy, and the previous Marion T Academy. Okay. Now as our viewer audience hears those schools and considers the challenges, the issues that have come up in our community over the last seven years involving those schools, then I, I submit to you that I would be the person that would stand up and I would be a voice speaking truth.